Greetings, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to share data between the FL Studio plugin version of the app and a mobile installation. Once your computer and any mobile devices are connected to the same network, enable sharing here. If you need to disable this later, there's an enable sharing switch on the settings tab. So let's enable sharing and open FL Mobile on this tablet. In this case, the computer is connected to the router by an Ethernet cable and the tablet by Wi-Fi. When the FL Mobile app starts, notice that it's detected by the FL plugin installation. Here's the song I want to transfer to the PC. I need to take a So from the tablet, under Share, we see the PC installation is also detected as FLM plugin. Tapping the box sends from the device you tap to the target installation listed. Let's do that. The pop-up will ask you if you want to transfer all FL Mobile data on the device or just My Project Data. The first time you do this, choose Send All. This will make sure the plugin version is updated with the entire content library. It's important as the plugin version installs with only 17 megabytes of library content. Now, if I go back to the FL installation, here's my project. I need a take a take a cool. Next, let's look at some advanced file sharing. Let's see the most efficient way to shuttle project files between your PC and a mobile device. First, you will need to locate the FL Studio Mobile Plugin Data folder. If I minimize FL Studio, notice I have a shortcut folder on my desktop to the FL Mobile Plugin Data. This is inside the FL Studio installation, as you can see from the path. A quick way to find this folder is to right click the FL Studio desktop icon, choose Open File Location, and browse to Plugins, Fruity, Generators, FL Studio Mobile, and then Local Data. These are your files. Everything with a My in front of it. My drum sets down to My Tracks. So if you make a desktop shortcut to the Local Data folder, you can easily copy files in and out of the plugin. For example, I have some stems or audio tracks I want to send to my tablet. So first, I copy these files into the My Tracks folder, and here they are. Great. Back to FL Studio. I'll need to restart the app so it rescans the data folders. Now, when I click the plus track button and add an audio clip, under My Tracks are the stems. Let's test. Excellent. Now remember, the purpose was to share these stems with the mobile installation. As before, open the Share tab, and once I open FL Studio Mobile on this iPad, the mobile install is detected by FL Studio on the PC. Then, just as before, click the device, and the data is on its way from my PC to the iPad. And after a little while, we can open a new project on the iPad and the stems from the plus audio clip option. And there, under my tracks, the stems have arrived. I'll add the piano chords, the lead, and a vocal, ready for remixing. With that, I'll leave you to transfer your data between FL mobile installations, no matter where they are. Enjoy. Embrace the cold as the night gets old. We're waiting for another day. Take me away. I need somewhere to breathe.
Mama. 